Just a second. A second. So as Amy has told you in the last lecture, we are going to see the proof of the following theorem uh, for the case where the manifold is a two torus. So we, if we have oh, this theorem uses the Hopf argument, goes back to 1939, and the proof is by an also and so some people also say that it's an also Sinai. So let's play safe and I, I will cite both. So what we are going to see today is that we, if we have A map on some object which is called manifold for those who know the, what it, it is. Otherwise, just think of the case T2. T2. Okay. And if this is C2, and also of diffeomorphism. which preserves the volume mu. I have, I have called volume uh, M in my last lecture, but just to be consistent with Amy's notation and with Kadim's notation, let's call it mu from now on. Okay, this is volume, okay? So if we have a C2 and also of diffeomorphisms, which preserves a volume mu, then F is ergodic. This is a very strong result. F is ergodic with respect to this mu. Okay? We are going to see this in the case that M is a torus T2. Okay. Yeah. M is compact. In general, for those who know, M will be a compact, a closed Riemannian manifold.
But if you don't know what it is, don't worry. So it's just proving for the case that M is T2. So in the very special case that M is T2, so this, what I'm going to say, holds only, only in the special case what you need is that M is two-dimensional, okay? If you have a two-dimensional manifold, then I think we ha you have seen this with Amy today, that if F is a C2 and also the pheomorphism, then the stable and unstable foliations are C1. And that is key in what we are going to prove now. What does this mean? It means that the charts foliation, the foliation charts, it's in fact, what I'm going to write is even stronger. So there are foliation charts that are C1, so there exists C1 foliation charts. C1 foliation charts that take unstable leaves into horizontal lines and stable leaves into vertical lines, okay? So we, let me take some colors and what we are going to have is that if we have a C2 anus of diffeomorphism, we will have that Foliation by stable and unstable leaves will go under a foliation chart into straight lines. Simultaneously, so the, there is a C1 foliation chart that takes simultaneously this into horizontal lines and this into vertical lines, okay? So this is, this is going to be very, very strong in, in our proof today because this in particular, let me do a remark, which is going to be very important. Remark. A consequence of this theorem is that Fubini holds, because this is C1, okay? So Fubini holds. So as a consequence, so if we want to measure a set one, set A here, we can just take one unstable leaf and integrate this A along stable leaves, okay? Why? It's because there's a C1 foliation chart that takes this into straight lines and horizontal lines, okay? So, Fubini holds, this is going to be very, very important. Okay. So we are going to prove an also theorem. Okay.
And what, what are we going to do? We are going to proceed. Remember, in my last lecture, I did this for the 2111. Okay? And I told you that there were three main ingredients. Okay? And one was the fact that the Birkhoff sums in the future are constant along stable leaves. In the past are constant along unstable leaves. This was one ingredient, which we are going to have here too. The other ingredient was Fubini, which we are already have. And the third ingredient was accessibility, which we are going to have because in fact, we only need uh, a stronger case of accessibility, which is local product structure, which you all have already seen, okay? So if, if you have local product structure, then you have accessibility. Why is that? Because uh, you, you can cover, uh, you, for each point you have a neighborhood where you have local product structure. And then you can cover the manifold with these charts having local product structure, and then since it is compact, you take a finite sub-covering, sub and then you will have an STU path from any point to any other point. So having local product structure in a compact manifold is stronger than accessibility. And these three elements is what the only thing that we are going to use today. Okay, so we are going to proceed in the very same way as we proceeded in this case, okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to show that for every continuous map, the conditional expectation is constant almost everywhere. And remember what we have We have called and this limit existed almost every x and almost every x they coincide. Okay? In the points where they don't exist, you just can take lim soup or just take zero or whatever. Ignore it. We are going to consider the map just almost everywhere, okay? And so we know, we know that mu almost every x this limit exists and are equal and are equal to the conditional expectation. Okay? So we are going to call these points the set of good points. Okay? Just to find it, the set of good points. Um. such that these limits exist, let me put it like this. And if we take the volume normalized, then we would have that this set has measure one, total measure, okay? Just remember the good points. 
And also remember that phi plus was constant on stable manifolds. And phi minus was constant on unstable manifolds. So we're going to call this F. We are going to call this because it was trick two. And so let's define the boxes with which we are going to work. Okay? Remember that in, in the previous proof, we have used squares around a certain point. So now we are going to define square. Remember, I told you that we, we just wanted to take squares so that the boundary of the square was made of stable and unstable leaves. We are going to define squares where they will be diffeomorphic to squares, but they will have boundaries made of stable and unstable leaves. Okay? So for each point in torus, um, just take local stable manifolds of P, but take them very, very small, okay? And so let me do a drawing. The red one. There are some colorblind person here, so I just put the names. Okay, so if X is in, in the unstable manifold, in the local unstable manifold of P, and Y is in the local stable manifold of P, then the local product structure implies that the stable manifold of X and the unstable manifold of Y intersect at a unique point. So we are going to call this unique point bracket XY. Okay? So for any x, a local and stable manifold of P, and for any y in the local stable manifold of P, we are going to define x, y and this point is uniquely defined, okay? And now we are going to define the square exactly in the same way that we did define it last class. It's going to be a square center at P, and it's going to just be made by all x, y's such that x is in the local and stable manifold of P, and y is in the local stable manifold of P. So this is going, if, if we trace all, all possible points obtained in this way, we will get a small square around P. But now, now we have, we can proceed exactly as Fubini holds, we can proceed exactly in the same way as we have proceeded in the last lecture. So let me, let, let me just tell you the trick. We 
had the good points G. And in the same way, we can define the bad points as a complement. Just, we are going to take the bad points in as the complement of the square and the good points. So since Fubini holds, now we have that Fubini holds. So since Fubini holds, then uh, since the measure of the bad points is zero, then we have, and Fubini holds, both things imply that for almost every P, we are going to have the, this is the Lebesgue measure of the the Lebesgue measure on the local stable manifold of P. Okay, so this measure will be zero because Fubini holds. If it were no, no zero for mu almost every point, we could get a point, a, a set of measure, a positive measure where it holds, then we integrate and we would get that the set of bad points is positive. Okay, so we have this. For mu almost every p, we are going to have that if we take it's I, I will take any p, I will take any p into two, and then I will consider s p, okay, and b is in fact this. And this local stable manifold is so small as it is contained in SP. Okay? So, I don't know if this answers. This, this is going to be just... We have P here. We have the unstable manifold of P. And this, the bad points here. Yes. Okay, so this, the measure of bad points in the local stable manifold of P is going to be zero. So as a consequence, we have that for almost every P in T, uh, mu P U almost every Y in the local stable manifold is a good point, okay? I do it twice because it's, it's easier to work with measure zero set because we have that this measure is one, but then we have to, okay. So we have that for almost every point in the torus, if we take the local stable, the local unstable manifold, almost every point in this local unstable manifold is going to be a good point. Okay, so it's a it's a good exercise, though it's it requires some some care. That you can also assume that P is a good point. Not only almost every point in the local stable manifold, but you can also assume that P is a good point. Yeah, it's a nice exercise. You can also use Fubini. Okay. But now we proceed as exactly as in this previous lecture. Here? Okay, I'll use white. white chalk 
this can be seen okay? Okay, then I... So, as a consequence of this, this, this implies that mu, almost every p in the torus, mu p u almost every y in the local unstable manifold of p, y belongs to g. Okay? What this means that for almost every point, almost every point in its local state unstable manifold is good. It's a good point. Okay. So now we are almost there. Uh, as I said, we can also assume we don't need that, in fact, but it's just more elegant. We can also assume that P itself is a good point. Okay, so now take any of these points. a good point, and P a good point such that this happens, and then we do exactly, we proceed exactly as we did in the last lecture. We have this, we have here P, and okay. In fact, we, we only will use this unstable manifold. So, we have this, and since this holds, then we have, since they are, they are good, we have P is good. So, phi plus Y, phi plus P equals uh, phi minus p equals phi plus p. This is because it is good. Okay? And, okay, now this lies the definition, this trick property implies that this equals y for all y yeah, stable local and stable manifold of P, okay? So this is because P is good, and this is because of the trick. But now, this is because almost every Y is good. This will hold almost every X. So let's erase here and say almost every Y in the unstable, local unstable manifold will satisfy this. Okay, so we have almost every Y here has the same value of phi plus. But now, we apply the trick again and we have that this is constant along the stable manifold. Okay, so this equals this for all set the stable, local stable manifold of Y. So for all set in the local stable manifold of Y and for almost every, or let me state it like this, and for all Y in W, U, log P intersection G, we have that this is constant. Okay, but now we have the following. So we are almost there. We are going to finish this whole time. Okay, 
So now we have for all set in the stable manifold of Y with Y in the intersection of the local and stable manifold of P intersection G, this phi plus set is constant. So Let's call this set square prime. For all the set in square prime of P, phi plus of set equals phi plus of P. Okay? But now, remember, Fubini holds. So if we evaluate the measure of this set, we are taking all the points in the local stable, almost every point on the local stable manifold, and we are integrating the measure of the stable manifold along it. So we are going to have that the measure of S prima P equals the measure of S of P. What, what is the same for almost every point in the square, the value of phi plus is constant, okay? So, now we can cover the torus with these squares, and since it is, and they can overlap, and so since they are constant in each of these squares, they will be constant all over the torus. And so with this, we have finished the proof that it is ergodic, and that's it. Thank you. Well, before.